Welcome here! Let's play! Take a cannon! This part is the end of the Acropolis, and there is a little mini loss of Sir Yuzi. And here is why we needed the Aegis section of Aegis Keys. The crux of the key we found. Believe me, if you make it so far and are missing any of those parts, you have to backtrack to previous levels until you find them all. What a pain! But it's okay, we already found all the crafts. Ha <laughs> ha! This level is just a straight shot to Surveyor Mars. There are a bunch of monsters here, but we can heal up before the loss. Carabarius is a mythical seven-headed dragon from Greek mythology with a form of a dog. And reads invisible fire. You can see or hear or feel the fire, but it's there. I guess. But good thing there are no more rocks to lower in this level. That Kim was wearing a little thin. But oh how I love Dekatana. I love it. I don't care who hears I will shout from the rooftops. Dekatana, you're all mine. Tee there is a small collection of Dekatana fans on John Romero's website Rome.ro. It's not affiliated with him, though, and just a gamer who loves the classics, such as this game. Tell me I can heal up and prepare a toy for my battle with Sir Ruzi. But first I need to unlock the gate with my Aegis Cage. Good thing I already found him, or I would be in a world of hurt right now. While raising my vitality level gave me 54 health. What a deal. Omar reads the gate where I used my Aegis keys. And a cutscene? Yes, a short little cutscene to explain the mystery of the door and your entity and if you didn't find all the threats. And what does Orgas mean? Oh please, tell me game. I am overfowling with the anticipatory. For ten and swore. Come too far to give up now. There must be some way to open these gates. Alpha, Epsilon, Gamma, Iota, Sigma. That's odd. The tablets spell out the word Aegis. What's that? It means shield in Greek. I wonder if it's some sort of warning. Okay, each of these tablets is activated with one set point of the key and you need all five. If you are missing even one, you must go back per vice level and find it. With all faith, the wheel is revealed and I can open up the gate to proceed to Serbiazu. But I will kill Mukiko to win here because this is man's rock up ahead. Actually, it's not all that tough. I just blast Sargeros with my card and then he dies like so many before him. He follows in the footsteps of my endless slaughter. No murky. Come on out Sargeros and meet your fate. You will die, but did you ever really live? I'm... dying to kill you. Ha 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 Oh man, that was an original joke copyright 2009 Josie Ashuaras. If you copy that for your sitcom or stand-up routine you have to pay me royalties. What a tragic defeat. Now I give you your banshee butt. I collect some goodies to the victor goes the spoils. Sir Brazera was hoarding some trinkets it seems. Now I can collect Mukiko and Carl to the next level. To Medusa's lair. Or lair of Medusa is technically what it's killed. It's a game of poison traps and tricks for the monster. With snakes for hair. And people trunks to stone. It's incredible, isn't it? That's an understatement. Never in a million years did I imagine I'd one day be setting foot on the Parthenon while it was still in its heyday. 
Still, I sense something unpleasant about this place. Unpleasant? What do you mean? I don't know. It's just a feeling. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Wonder who she is. Looks like some sort of goddess. I think it's supposed to be Athena. Amazing how lifelike she looks. Almost as if she'd been frozen in place. Oh God, I think I know what that shield was warning us about. What? We have to get out of here. Why? What is it? Didn't Perseus use a mirrored shield to defeat the Gorgons? This must be one of the lairs of Medusa, the witch. Who turned her enemies to stone. Let's keep moving.